This is the Audacity to Lead podcast episode 13, How to Increase Your Personal Productivity. Looking to make the leap from potential to productive performance? Thinking of starting up with business, career, ministry, or your life tax? Join Dario Samuel on the Audacity to Lead podcast as he shares tips, steps, and strategies to help you chart a compelling course for your life. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Audacity to Lead podcast. This is the podcast dedicated to helping you make a leap from potential to productive performance. Our goal is to help you get focused, get started and be impactful. This is the continuation of the series, 11 Essentials of a Great Life Task. I still have Tara with me in the studio. Hi. <laughs> Last week, there was no podcast episode because we were celebrating Tara's birthday. Yeah. And the birthday went so well that Tara <laughs> we cried got, at a point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> of course, just tears of joy anyway. I got several calls. Like, I got... Should I say numerous? <laughs> they were uncountable. Let me put it that way. I got calls from Grace Festus, Sam Obafemi, Mekanobis. There were plenty. Oh my God. I was just saving numbers that day. I even, I mixed some numbers up, man. <laughs> I mixed some numbers up. And well, to say, to say, to say thank got you. I SMSs to... and tweets. Oh I my God. They made my day, like seriously. I you got, know, I wish I could, I wish I can just mention all their names right now. To Today is 11th of October that we are recording this and you can remember <laughs> you met one of the persons who wished you well on Twitter just some minutes ago. Yes. Uh, Matt B for short. Yes. Twitter, you know, she said Tara. <laughs> <laughs> I get. <laughs> I get. Okay. Well, you are welcome. You are welcome once again. Thank you for joining us on this episode of the Audacity to Lead podcast. We are glad you are here and we are glad you have been learning, developing yourself and grasping as much as you can from the eight, seven episodes we've had on this same topic, 11 Essentials of a Great Life Task. Today, specifically, we'll be looking at how to increase your personal productivity. And to start with us, Tara, you do the definition of personal <laughs> productivity. So okay. what is personal productivity, Tara? Personal productivity has to do with value creation let me put it that way okay. value creation it's either the value is being deposited in you or is being deployed into others according to carol doherty personal productivity is output or input which looks at how much is produced compared to the resources needed so yeah. when it comes to when you hear productivity it has to do with value creation. It's either you are the one receiving the value that someone else has, you know, maybe someone else or something has already, you know, created. It's either you're on the receiving end or you are on the give at uh, the giving end. So okay. that's why it has. That's what productivity is on a general note. So personal productivity. It, it now it brings it makes it more. <laughs> I nearly said personal. <laughs> it makes it more, you know. Um, intimate like it's it's you it's about you what are you doing to create value okay what are you doing to create value is it what are you doing to receive what are you doing to to receive or deploy i think it's yeah, deploy. Okay. yeah okay what are you doing to receive value and what are you doing to create value so Dio, now let's hear from you well mine my 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 task today will be to share the tips on how to increase personal productivity. Thank you for defining personal productivity that way. Okay. I think I peep into your note and I can see something that value equals you and equations. <laughs> <laughs> the value equals what times quality times quantity. Interesting. Yeah. Value equals what times quality times quantity. Hmm. Around equations. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let me share about seven tips on how to increase personal productivity, which I feel will help you so much, especially considering your life task, your calling, what you are going to be doing for the rest of your life. 
Number one tip that I will share with you has to do with the power of lists, the power of the list. Okay. Now, talking about the power of the list, we almost always have a lot of things we want to do. Keeping those things in our heads, keeping those things in your head won't help your productivity. Very true. So if you can, you should find ways to reduce whatever will constrain you physically. Like you should get those things, you write them down. You should get them on notes. Yeah. You should write them on whatever it is you can get. In fact, and it, 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 our gadgets right now have the capacity to handle notes. Yeah. There are some apps that can do to-do lists. So, okay. talking about the two kinds of lists, there's the to-do list and there's the to-be list. Wow. I remember having, when I, I remember the first few moments, the first few weeks when I met you, mm. you were always telling me about your to-do list. <laughs> there's something I want to do. There's this, okay, I've, I've done this, I've seen you today, so let me take my to-do list. <laughs> Remember this is, <laughs> I remember this is, I always them. laugh at you and tell of you that course. get beyond the to-do list. Yeah. Well, we always need the to-do list because to-do list helps us to keep tabs with whatever it is we need to do so that people won't look at us as irresponsible. <laughs> but then there's the to-be list which talks about the things adding who you hope to become, how you hope to develop. Now we could talk about the personal investing in your person like we discussed on some episodes back, uh, that will have to be with the, to do with who you hope to be and then the time that you hope to be so, so, so person. For example, if you say, okay, I want to be, I want to be like, to be list could be a list of dreams, desires, and goals you have. Okay. While a to-do list will be tasks and assignments and activities I have to do to get to that to be. Okay, give me, can you like give me an example of the to-do list or let me, okay, let me say now to-do list, let's say make my hair, yes. then to-be list, have a to publishing list, company, yeah. something like that. Well, to be, to-do list is actually a, to, um, a publishing company, like having a com- publishing company could also fall in the to-do list. Okay. But then it's not an immediate task. So mm-hmm. if you're going to put it in the list, mm-hmm. you now be be the owner of a publishing company. Okay, it, it, it becomes more personal. Yes, you okay. are personalizing it now. You are mm-hmm. making it this is who you want to be. Like wow. I want to be my own boss. I want to be my I want to be an uncrowned CEO. Wow. I want to be I want to be the leader of a company. Like you can say, okay, I want to be the CEO of my company by twenty so 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 twenty twenty five. That means you have ten years from now. Then your to do list will now be the task and the activities you need to do from now to okay. get to that 2025 when you will now be the CEO the list of your to be so somehow the to do list and the to be and the to be yeah. list they are connected yes. okay but the mistake we make most of the time is that we have to do lists mm. we don't have to be list oh, very so true. we are now filled with plenty of activities mm. and now you know several activities will not take you anywhere if mm. there's no drive Jack especially. of all trade <laughs> <laughs> okay well, that's n- n- another point I'll share will be to balance your time that is time balance that's one another uh, another way to increase your productivity is time balance now when I talk about time balance time has various levels of quality in fact in relationship we talk about quality time having quality time together now if time doesn't have quality there wouldn't have been anything called quality time. So the only way to balance your time is to use something that you can either see or use, maybe your calendar on your phone. You can use um, apps on your system. You can use apps on your phone. You can even use a calendar, a physical calendar. Like personally, what I use, I use a um, calendar block, a printed calendar block. Mm-hmm. In fact, it's in my front right now. And on the calendar right now, you can see some dates that are already highlighted mm-hmm. for October. And yeah, okay. even some months that are highlighted for November. And then my December is completely blank. Why? Because I want to take December to reshoot, refire, and refresh myself. Mm, interesting. So that's it about. I hope it's an all expense paid trip well, <laughs> to the Bahamas. Pay, maybe you'll pay. <laughs> Me. <laughs> okay. So that's it about to about time balance. Well, the number three tip I will share with you will be to learn how to handle interruptions. If you are going to be very productive, you have to learn to handle interruptions. There's something about interruptions. Interruptions are not avoidable. Okay. And as unavoidable as interruptions may be, you can control them. You may not be able to avoid interruptions, but you can control them. Hmm, I heard I heard somebody say distractions are 
attractions that sidetracks you from <laughs> your journey or so okay so now talking more on interruption how like how do you balance them because almost everything is distracting these days well there's Having plenty some, okay. there's plenty nice around actually you're right everything is discouraging well for 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 as a tip still talking about tip number three how to undo interruptions mm-hmm. i would suggest you set clear boundaries like you set clear boundaries how do i mean if you don't want to be disturbed maybe in the early hours of the day be clear about it and communicate it to the people who matter most maybe your colleagues your friends your associates so that they will understand that you don't want to be disturbed at that time not like you are seeing them as disturbance but then you have something else you have to pay attention to at that time mm-hmm. now you remember that we talked about time balance in the previous tip so that is in tip number two now some other things that may um another way to undo distraction well this one i fall for it every time the distraction that comes from internet okay emails twitter facebook notifications <laughs> you, you get that so sometimes you might have to turn off internet connection well i do that like as i'm recording this right now all my internet connection everything is turned off there's okay. no connection of any sort that will interfere with what i'm doing right now i'm meant to be recording a podcast right now and no other thing is meant to disturb me okay. you get it yeah. of course by the time i put on my network my internet i'll receive plenty notifications you get it yeah. but because i don't want to be disturbed okay i've not avoided it and the, um, the disturbance i've not avoided the distraction but what i've done is i've simply controlled the distraction how by putting off the network from here now when people talk about they want to avoid um distraction they actually take it kind of to the extreme like you don't want to see people at all or maybe how should i put it like it, it actually creates an attitude kind of but when you say you are controlling distractions that is a little more polite okay. you get it. sometimes you have to put on your door don't you disturb mm-hmm. uh, sometimes you have to put on your door please um, check back 10 minutes in 10 minutes time you get, you get the gist mm-hmm. looking at your face right now I think I have to tell you the number 4 tip Oh, that's called productive sleep with the power of nap <laughs> so what are you trying to <laughs> say I'm not, you, I'm not like sleeping needs to sleep. <laughs> well mm. sleeping is not actually a bad thing in fact taking a nap can be so refreshing have you ever ever said to yourself I know I'm tired right now and I would need some rest but I would get it well what I've noticed that that rest later never comes because mm. the more you get engrossed in whatever it is you are doing the more you discover I still want to do more that's and true. eventually what happens is you get a breakdown okay in fact most of the times when I break down that's the reason why I break down most of the time now number five thing will be the <laughs> the popular <laughs> well I've written something about this that I would be the counsel of until and that's simply procrastination Oh, interesting. If you are going to increase your personal productivity, you have to know how to handle procrastination. How can you be handled, I think, well, <laughs> to help me? The post, I I did a post some days ago, Beat the Council of Until. I will include it in the show notes also, so that you can read that up. Well, the real productivity problem, according to someone, he said the real productivity problem people have is procrastination. That is... What what people actually have as productivity problems most of the time is actually procrastination. Instead of getting productive, doing what I need to do now, I'll say I'll do it later. Okay. Until this is done, I will not do this. Do you get that? So what is procrastination anyway? It is simply the counsel that plays in your head telling you it can always be done later. Mm, and tomorrow never comes. Well, tomorrow by tomorrow, tomorrow will be another tomorrow. And number six, well, I read a statistics recently that says that 74% of employees are experiencing a personal energy crisis. Personal energy actually talks about your drive. That is, you know, sometimes you can burn out. Okay. Uh-huh. So when you burn out is by reason of energy that you have exhausted over time and you are not getting back but then okay. i i came across a a test that, that is called the energy test 
I'll share the link and so on the show notes so that you can take the test. If you take the next, what you'll do is you'll discover how you can focus your energy. As a young person, this is what I found that when people say they want to, when they say, when they, when they are talking about doing plenty of things, they scatter the energy so much that they eventually do nothing. This is what I mean. Like, maybe you would have heard this statement that I said before that before 20s, well, between our teens and 20s, we discover hundreds of things we want to do with our lives. Yeah. By the time we get to our twenties and our mid twenties, we discover um to mid thirties, we discover a hundred of things that we will never do and we can never be. Yeah. The wisdom as we get into our late thirties is to focus on the ones we can do and know where to channel our energy. Reminds me of when I wanted to be a dancer. Only God know where, ah, only God knows where that dream went to. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could still be a dancer. You just be dancing no. for somebody. Dan- <laughs> <laughs> I'll be dancing in church. <laughs> oh, well, you have always Praise and worship. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the last tip I'll share will be the myth of perfectionism. Hmm. That, 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 perfectionism. That, 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 that tip actually affects several young persons okay. affects us a lot why because we are seeing people who are doing things in a particular way so we feel that unless we do it the way they are doing it we are not getting anything done at all okay that's one another scenario is that um to start something you know this series is 11 essentials of a great life task now how does perfectionism come into the play this is how it plays out you discover this is what I want to do with my life, then you are trying to set every other thing you need to get it done. You are setting them in motion first that everything has to be in place. Like, I know I'm going to be a speaker, I know I'm going to be a writer, but I must have a computer before I write, I must have a personal system before I write, I must have a printer before I write so that as soon as I write, I print out. Mm-hmm. Well, that's perfectionism in display. Mm-hmm. And how does it affect you? It simply tells you that until those things are ready, you shouldn't do anything. And then you see, um, procrastination simply kicks in again. I came across this statement that says that if you want the easiest way to be frustrated with anything is to try to be perfect with it. So if you need to go do it at all, what I would advise you to do is to get started first, make adjustments as you go on. Okay. That's and that's the way to go about it. That's a simple way. I think I think that can also go as in can also be related to all aspects of life like relationship wise and all career yeah calling purpose every every because some people think before I become a a, a musician I have to you know, have a studio or something or blah, 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 blah. <laughs> or before I become a, a... Okay, before I become an artist now, I, an artist, I have to, you know, have a stage or some, something. There's something called theater in the round. Like, yeah. it's more like an open place. It's more like an open place. Everybody watching. The main thing is have your audience be the performer and have your performance to display for yeah. the audience. That's yeah. the thing. Even one person just watching you alone is already a performance yeah. that's the thing because that's registered in that person yeah, so definitely. this this tip this perfectionist tip will actually help every young person including me <laughs> true confessions <laughs> well, that, 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 that's good by natural temperament mm. i'm introverted and you know introverted can tend towards perfectionism because of understanding this tip mm. i always tell myself that your it doesn't have to be perfect if i get started Mm. I read a quote sometimes ago that says you don't have to be great to start mm-hmm. but you have to start to be great. Yeah. Each time true. I'm trying to embark on anything I bring that statement back to mind and tell myself Dio, you don't have to get everything done to start but you have to start to get everything done. True. So I've always encouraged myself that way. So as you are listening to us right now as you are hearing us right now you can adopt that you can bring that into your own life and adapt to it and you just discover that you are getting more productive by the you day. know i'm smiling right now no? <laughs> i nearly said something <laughs> ladies you don't have to wait for that guy to have a car before <laughs> <laughs> you to come by your own i'm just kidding <laughs> well there's nothing bad about a lady be buying a car of course if we go into that we will raise a conversation <laughs> <laughs> sure. so this is where we're going to end this episode of the audacity to lead 
podcast mm-hmm. we want to appreciate you for taking your time to listen well you have not wasted your time anyway because your time has been balanced by the quality of knowledge you have grabbed from yeah. this so Bye. we appreciate you <laughs> personally i want to say thank you to sam obafemi and say thank you to Shegun Akiode. In fact, today is Shegun Akiode's birthday. So I'm saying happy birthday, Shegun. Happy birthday. We appreciate you so much. Yeah. I want to thank Semako Jinadu. I want to thank Mayowa Ajishafe. I want to thank um, Dami of lucrativepen.com. Well, I think I should go back and mention their sites. I want to thank Sam Obafemi of bhhouse.com. Org, is it org or .com? I'll put it in the show notes. I want to thank Sam Semako of CareerWiseConsult.com. I want to thank Maya Waji Shafe of Author, AuthorsCrib.com. I want to thank Emmanuel G. I want to thank Ade Jones of AdeJones.com. I want to thank Ola Popos James for all of you for just saying th- I want to appreciate you for celebrating Tara's birthday with us thank you thank so much thank you for much. celebrating Tara's birthday Obafemi Fawibe of Obafemi Fawibe dot com I want to appreciate Shegun Akede Shegun Akede today is your birthday happy birthday you can please say happy birthday to Shegun Akede at Shegun Akede he's been our guest on the Dark to Lease with Hangout I want to thank Ibuka J. Anishebe of AskEbuka.com I want to really appreciate you thank you for celebrating Tara with me I want to appreciate so plenty of them how come you know them more than I do I want to appreciate I want to appreciate Sas Amaru Yi, I want to appreciate OBD, John OBD, Ade Olowo Joba, opportunities for use.com, I want to appreciate you. Uh, as in, there are so many of you, Bukola Jegede of, uh, Bukola Jegede of Light Breeders, I want to appreciate you, God soon. <laughs> God soon Solomon, I appreciate you, Onyeye, Victor Bassi, I want to just appreciate a big kind of beast. I want, as a, I, the names are just too much. I just want to appreciate <laughs> everybody. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank so you so much. much. You all made my day. Thank you so much. Thank you. In case I can't call your name right now, I'll put. I'll include it on the. I'll include it in the show notes. I really want to say thank you for helping me celebrate my co-host Tara on her birthday. Well, this is where I end today's episode of the podcast. This is where I want to ask you a question today. My question for you to this week is this. Which of these tips are you going to apply to your life directly as in like immediately? I would like you to post your answer as a comment for me on this post on this show notes. Leave your answer for me there and let's discuss what tip what particular tip which particular tip are you going to apply to your life immediately which one applies to your life immediately that you know you are going to put to use for this next seven days before we come back your way next week i'm looking forward to hearing from you and if you have any questions you can actually place you can comment you can leave a comment and all so that we can announce or we can talk about it. it yeah answer it in the next podcast so thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much in the next podcast we're going to be talking on getting paid, paid to, to be, be you. you yeah getting paid to be you let's leave you with this get focused get started get started be impactful for listening to this episode of the audacity to lead podcast we believe you've been inspired and greatly challenged to step out and lead with more influence and impact till next tuesday when we bring you another episode of the podcast for more resources visit audacitytolead.com